Good morning, everybody. Heading back to the trail, seven o'clock. A little windy today, but it's not raining. It's great. I uh, slept restlessly, actually. Kept hearing branches and stuff creaking and cracking. Something small fell near me, nothing major, but no mishaps last night. So keep in mind, any hammock campers, Pass Mountain Shelter, not the greatest hammock spot. There's maybe one or two spots that are not all that good. Anyway, today we are doing a 26 point something mile day. Getting out of the Shenandoahs and heading into Front Royal. But that'll be fun. Put on my rain jacket this morning because the skies were blue and I wanted to dry out my stuff. And as soon as I put my jacket on, it started raining. What have I done? Bring a quarter mile away. Elk Wallow is definitely open. Coke, coffee, blackberry milkshakes, two breakfast sandwiches. Might go back for more. Well, I don't know what overlook we're on, but it's pretty freaking it's cool. It's uh, Catman Dew Perch. Catman Dew Perch. <laughs> okay. That's that cell tower we saw right after lunch. Oh yeah, look how far we've gone. We were right next to that cell tower right up there about an hour or so ago, maybe two. Wow. Look at that. Don't step backwards. <laughs> that would hurt, man. Well, as expected, there are a ton of day hikers out today. It's Saturday, Easter weekend. Got about 7.8 more miles down to Route 522, which is going to be our stop in for Front Royal. I think most of everybody is staying at the Super 8. Togs is seeing her dad. And I am going to stay at a subscriber's house. So pretty cool stuff. Can't wait to meet him. And I'm thinking we'll be getting at the road about 6.30. Well, I think these two are getting the last beers. Yep, I got All right. Left. Got some trail magic from a triple crowner. What's your name, man? I'm Blaze. Blaze. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming out here and doing this. Just, just passing it forward, man. Yeah. You know, you got to take care of the nobos. Yeah. You're badass. <laughs> hey, which uh, order did you complete your triple crown? AT and 16, uh -huh. PCT 17, and CVT 18. And I've done a bunch of other hikes. So awesome. just over 10,000 miles in three years. And you've hiked around Nope and Baskets. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So, yep. hey, you guys finally caught up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> You guys want some beer? I am good, thank you. Yeah? I'll definitely take one. <laughs> there you go, man. It. I'm not a beer drinker, otherwise I'd be all over. Well, we are officially out of the Shenandoah National Park. Awesome. We're heading down to Route 522 to get in the front royal. The leaves are really coming out now. It's looking beautiful. <laughs> so, next weekend, seven days from now, my parents want to come visit. They're going to be staying an entire weekend. Uh, right now, I'm really close to my miles per day, so I don't think that uh, taking a zero would be a bad idea. So, looking forward to them coming down. Probably send back my hoodie and my space blanket that I'm carrying for just in case. I think we're out of the danger zone now, finally. It's going to be good. And then Chrissy wants to come back down and do some hiking uh, the weekend following that.
So, made it to Front Royal, and I am at Greg's house. Thank you so much. They uh, cooked me a steak dinner, baked potato, and we had dessert, like brownies, ice cream, hot brownie, hot ice cream. Phenomenal. Can't get over people's generosity on this hike, man. Um, they invited me to stay with in their home, so I'll be crashing here tonight. <laughs> and really comfortable. They made me very, very comfortable here. Got a nice shower, did my laundry. They picked me up at the trailhead. They even shuttled Togs and her dad who came to see her. So I might not see Togs for a little bit, but we're definitely going to try to keep the group together for a while. Some people have to take zeros. Uh, I'm going to be taking a zero pretty soon here. Girlfriend's coming back. A family wants to visit. We talked about that. But I am extremely tired. I'm going to have a good night tonight. And then we've got breakfast here too tomorrow. So, amazing people. Freaking amazing. Anyway, good night everybody. See you in the morning. All right, back at the trailhead. Everybody, this is Greg. How you he, doing? He messaged me a couple weeks ago and yep. said, hey, if you need a place to stay, feel free to crash my house. I'll shuttle you into Front Royal. And man, my stay was awesome. I just want to thank you and your wife so much. You're welcome. Breakfast this morning, steak last night. Eggs and bacon. Oh, coffee, steak. real coffee. An awesome bed. Had a great time. It was great meeting you. And just Glad magical. You just magical. Did the laundry yesterday. Everything's just reset. I didn't do it for you. <laughs> you did. You kind of did. You kind of <laughs> did. But hey, it was great meeting you. No problem. Great meeting you. Good luck Thank to you me. so much. No problem. No problem. No problem. Just want to say thank you to Greg and his wife. Just so amazing. So phenomenal. Very nice people. They had Cherry Coke waiting for me. <laughs> I even packed two cans out. Uh, dinner yesterday was phenomenal. Laundry. Bed was really good sleep last night. Shower felt amazing. <laughs> uh, I had a good time with them. I had a very, very good time. Great people. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate that. The fact that just someone is opening up their home to a random YouTuber hiking the Appalachian Trail, dealing with how bad I stunk yesterday after four full days on the trail with, you know, right around 30 miles a day. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Feel nice and refreshed today. Uh, as far as where I'm going, let's see, everybody's back on the trail that was in my group. Uh, I think they're doing about 20. I'm probably looking at 15, 17, or 22 mile day today, depending on how I feel. I am not rushing. I got three days to get to Harper's Ferry, and it's only 50 miles away. It's easy. It's a joke, actually, with the mileage we have been doing. And it's going to be great to be at the psychological halfway point. What a beautiful day today. We got blue skies. Just perfect trail. Easy walking. <laughs> uh, and it feels really good. I'm doing uh, you know lower mileage today. Apparently, uh, everybody's feet are kind of wrecked. My left heel still hurts, so I think it's because I glued my insoles down wrong. I actually had a couple tiny, tiny blisters that I had to pop two days ago, right in the spot that it's touching me. I'll deal with it for another 200 or so miles. But uh, other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. I did stub my toe really hard on a rock yesterday. It's kind of bothering me today, but should be all good in a couple days. So thinking about the four state challenge, and for those that don't know what it is, it's basically a, an all day hike that you go through Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania, about 42 miles. It starts 1.2 miles in Virginia outside of Harper's Ferry, which I want to spend some time in Harper's Ferry. I want to go to the ATC, check out some of the picture books, you know, get my picture taken, enjoy the town stuff like that so it's problem number one problem number two is most people do it 
south. So from north to south, meaning I'd have to get a ride up to the top. And the reason why people do that is around the time that it starts getting dark, you're by a very cliffy section apparently from what I'm reading. So I don't know if it's smart to do it from south north. I'm sure it could be done. But, you know, I don't know. That and I'm not sure I want to... You know, I'll have to do a Nero the following day. I'm, I just kind of want to keep going. So I think what I'm going to do is not worry about it. I mean, whatever. Who cares? I actually know that I could do it if I had the time. I mean, it's 42 miles. We've already done 30. What's an extra 12? Who cares? Especially because most of the terrain is flat, especially at the beginning. I'm thinking about just doing 35, maybe, through there and finding a campsite. As I was stopping for lunch, Dormet came up. Bill from PA, who's now called Hound, came up. <laughs> Togs and her dad came up. Some section hikers and some through hikers came up, and everybody is headed to Whiskey Hollow Shelter, which is where I was headed. So we might have a big party tonight. We'll see. It's great weather for it. Uh, Kegger and Cheetah, everybody. Everybody's going to be there. So <laughs> it's going to be fun tonight. And I am just taking my time. I only have seven more miles. It's one o'clock. It's good. It's good to push a little bit and then just have some downtime at camp. Look at those colors. <laughs> Man, that is freaking beautiful. So recently I've been debating on whether to swap out in a couple weeks my underquilt. Currently the temperature is a full length 30 degree. And I have a top quilt that's 40 degrees. The underquilt in a hammock is way more important than your top quilt for whatever reason. I don't know why, but at least for me, the underquilt is what makes the difference. So I was thinking about swapping out for a three-quarter length, which is just super comfortable. You can vent it very easily, and it's a 40 degree. Just looked up the average temperature in the whites for the month of June, and it is 48 degrees for the low. For me to be comfortable with having a three-quarter length under quilt it's got to be consistently over like 50 55 degrees so i think i'm not going to swap out the under quilt at all this trip it's just going to be the 30 degree full length and i'll just have to vent it as necessary which is really easy to do um, you just kind of leave the sides open so for anyone unfamiliar with how that works you just kind of leave the shock cord loose yeah so there goes my idea about bringing the three-quarter length, but honestly, I think it's fine. I've been uh, pretty comfortable so far. Uh, it's just when it gets to about 65 degrees, it starts to get a little hot. I'm heading down to the shelter. It's going to be a 15.3 mile day for me, and I think I'm okay with that today. I'll get some good sleep tonight, and I'm going to do a big day tomorrow, and so I have around 10 or 11 miles into Harper's Ferry on Tuesday. I get here at the intersection and Hound, Bill, is sitting <laughs> at the sign on a stump looking the most contemplative look I've ever seen in a man. He's like, I don't know whether to stay here or push on another six miles. That's a 27 mile day for him. I'm just like, you know what? I'm already at 17 miles per day now on my trip at this rate, as long as I do 17. I'm summiting July 6th. No hurry, man. Whatever. I will pick up and make a big day tomorrow, though. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up nice and early, maybe like 5 o'clock, and just get on the trail and start hiking. Yeah. I can't remember if I told you guys this story or not, but when I zeroed with Chrissy in Salem right before Dragon's Tooth, I saw this hiker just soaking wet. I could tell he was through hiking. And he was walking down a road, so I was like, hey, pick this guy up, see if he just needs a ride somewhere. We stopped, picked him up. His name was Perk. And uh, he just had a, a miserable morning, and he was trying to get back to the trail. We hooked him up and met him a few days ago at a shelter. I've been hiking around him for a little bit, and he's at this shelter tonight. And he hooked me up with a cigar. <laughs> I, 
haven't smoked a cigar in forever. I'm going to enjoy this tonight. So, uh, I think Togs and her dad are here. Lucky Katmandu and Marika and Hound, they all went up ahead. I have no idea why. I personally need a break, so I'm listening to my body and not being stupid about it. But if they're good to go, then they're good to go. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to do two big days into Harper's Ferry and then zero. So I'll see him on the same day. My doormat. All right, so Doormat has a story about his brother, who is uh, no longer on the trail because he broke his femur, but we didn't know. But go ahead and take it away, Doormat. We were walking down the trail one day going to, uh, I can't remember the shelter name, but it was getting late in the evening. He was limping extremely <laughs> bad. And we were unaware that he'd broken his femur. So, I mean, he's not his just His femur. Limping. His femur. His like actual, clean break femur, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he's limping extremely bad, like cartoonish bad limp. <laughs> and as we're going down the trail, he keeps saying, Ralph, Ralph, there's a big ass crow following me. And I'm like, well, shut up. I'm tired of listening to you to complain. Just focus and walk so we can get to the shelter in time. Because <laughs> he didn't want to stop. He wanted to keep walking. So we keep going. And he's like, Ralph, Ralph, the bird landed. And I'm like, what? And he's like, the bird landed. And I turn around and I say, Will, will you please just shut up? And I look up in the tree, and there it is. It's a big old vulture with its wings <laughs> spread out, just waiting for him to fall over. <laughs> ah! <laughs> waiting for him to kill over. That's this rude. bird's waiting to come down and pick and clean. What's oh left my of God. It. And I'm like, Will. And he's like, what? I said, that's a vulture. And he said, oh my God. And he started walking fast. I was like, Will, don't get too far away. If I pick you up and carry you off. My God, that is crazy. That's really now, is, he's he's done, right? He's not coming back. Uh, we don't know yet. Doctor might let him back on the trail with a broken femur. Well, it's such a clean break. They think that it might. Oh, it's be not gonna take long to heal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No surgery. No we'll cast. Don't get back on the trail. You've got a broken <laughs> leg. No That's crazy. Thank you for sharing your story, man. Appreciate it.